Here we are in Pluckley, the most haunted place in Kent, or the country according to some people that Sydney said. And uh, we're going to go to various locations as it's Halloween and uh, see what kind of things happen, see what I experience internally. Will I have a midlife crisis? Will I feel some shivers on the back of my neck? Will we hear strange noises? Let's find out in the parkly. Also, subscribe please. Thank you. I'd appreciate it. So leaving Pluckley Station, this is like the first eerie looking building that we probably don't have permission to go inside to be honest, as a train goes behind me. But it looks eerie, so make of that what you will. There's probably some sort of spirits in there. And it's called the the Dying Arms, the Docking Arms, the Derek the Arms, Derek. the Derain the Arms. We don't come to here for uh, <laughs> for like history lessons and tours. This is not the video for you, I'm afraid. Sixty-year-old Peter from Worcester. So we're just on our way to the first location, but on the walk there, just over there, you can see two little buildings with weird triangles on top of them. Those are called Oast's House. And did you know that they're native to Kent? Did you know that, Sidna? I did know that. I feel like you've told me this like 20 times over the 10 years and I'm just repeating what you repeat to me. Yeah, I've, I've said it quite a lot, so it's, it's, they're really cool, Oast Houses. We love Oast Houses. And where are they native to, Sydney? Uh, Kent. And nowhere else in the world? Yeah, well, they, they spill over the border a little bit, but oh. mainly in Kent. Well, the more you know, eh? Our first haunted building is literally that one right there. Oh. Uh, Rose Court. So maybe we should go inside and see if anyone's home. I uh, don't, don't, don't know about that bit. So down this road, apparently an invisible ghostly woman walked. And all I see is an upcoming car room in the atmosphere, said no, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> There's a lot of cars on this. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, to be honest. I'm not getting the full eerie experience of, you know, a van driving past every two minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Apparently there's the sound of men and women chatting happily alongside dogs yapping. In this particular road? Yep. Well, we might as well stay here for a little bit and see we'll forget anything. Maybe, maybe, it would make more sense to be in this direction, wouldn't it? Than the field? Maybe. Maybe. If I was ghost, I'd, I'd happily chat in here than over there. You know? Nothing yet. Nothing yet, Sid. No. no. Maybe we'll hit, hear something on the way up. So here is the Greystone. And apparently, it's haunted by a monk um, who was involved in some sort of love triangle and uh, he kind of haunts the surrounding woods. And uh, according to this website, I'll link it in the description if you ever want to do this yourself, um, he drifts among the surrounding trees. So maybe we'll just have a little look at the surrounding trees for a bit and see if we see any monks. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any monks yet, but um, we did see a concerned neighbour asking what we were doing, so in a way that's spiritual, isn't it? Sydney, what are you doing over there? It's an apple orchard. An apple orchard? Lots of apples. Uh, what, what orchard have I been in before? Um, an apple orchard. So this an is... An orchard. And now another apple orchard. <laughs> that, that was weird, isn't it? So, um, I am actually quite hungry. They're probably cooking apples. Yeah, for like wine and that. Yeah, uh, or just like cooking meals and stuff. So now we're approaching St Nicholas Church. And to be honest, I think this is going to be one of the highlights of today. Um, we're going to go in haunted woods that are apparently called the Screaming Woods, isn't it? But technically Daring Woods, but they are known as Screaming Woods as well. Uh, up here is the main street of Pluckley, so there'll be a bunch of stuff to see there. And um, yeah, we're just going to chill in the in the church for a little bit. I think this is going to be 
one of the biggest opportunities to have any sort of spiritual experience because we go like you know it's quiet there's no raging cars and concerned neighbors it's just going to be us and the silent breeze through the creakling wooded panels of the building that should be an author sit there that? <laughs> that was an amazing line by me so, so you're really looking for a haunted, haunting, haunting experience here. Um, you want to see like a ghost and... Yeah. Um, I'm not so sure about for myself, but JC, I haunted all the way, I don't mind. I want a shiver on, on my neck, you know. That's got to be worth the £15 train journey here. So, so we're at the gate of the church. Um, dog prowling in churchyard causes distress. Tell that to the dog ghost that is uh, known to the bark here once in like the 70s, which we'll talk more about later. Well, uh, yeah, this is the church. Look at the pretty flowers, Sydney. Isn't that lovely? I don't know why it's just one particular section of the greenery. I assume it's planted in honour, but imagine all that grass with those beautiful flowers. A lot nicer, you know. Getting Minecraft ideas already, Sydney. He's so gonna get haunted tonight. Like, why, why, why is he doing this? Look at that. It's not spiritual, but that is something else. Look at that view sitting there. It's not too bad, is it? It's lovely. It's a really lovely village. And we're very high up according to the rest of the scenery down there. We have walked up like a 20 minute hill. So I guess it's worth it in a way. What do you think, Sidna? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely area. We're in the middle of the High Weald at the moment, um, which is an area of land between the North and South Downs. Um, so it's kind of hilly, got some higher points, got some lower points. Is that open, JC? Um, it's only one way to find out. Uh -oh. You just twist this. That's old fashioned, isn't it? Well, not a single soul is here. Well, they probably are, but like, you know, human alive. So, that's weird. There's like a, an electronic tip machine in a Pluckley church. Compare the door that we just opened to that. How many years between technology and life? You know? Here we are. You know, if I was a uni student still, I'd just come here and do all my work. Well quiet. You know? Just put my laptop here. So apparently several members of the Daring family uh, are buried in this church. It's oh. interesting, isn't it? Uh, we've seen a lot of things called Daring. We saw, what was it, Daring House? It was like the first building. And then someone that was involved in a love triangle I think was part of the Darren family I might be wrong on that and now we're in the St Nicholas Church and apparently a strange dancing light has been frequently seen in the upper section of the window to your right so what right would that be? this right I assume we're talking about being in the middle because you know if I'm fricked around there that's my left but I assume that's the right so apparently a little um, a dancing light sitting there. So, do you see any dancing light that isn't sunlight? Mm -hmm. That's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. The strange dancing light is also often accompanied by the sound of knocking coming from the family fault beneath your feet. If you hear any knocking, you know, you know that, oh. <laughs> That was the camera. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did think. And um, what was I saying earlier about the dog barking thing? Um, in the early 1970s, in hopes of recording... The church is going off, the, the bell. Well, about the dog story. A group of uh, psychic researchers persuaded the then rector, Reverend, Reverend, Reverend I can't say that word, Reverend John Pittock uh, to allow them to spend the night locked inside the, the church, I guess, to see what they experience and what they pick up. They believe that they heard 
you know, the vicar's dog um, throughout the night, which was being loud and such. But um, the vicar said, I don't have a dog. So what dog did they hear? I assume the spirit of a dog. Maybe it's part of the family that's buried here's dog. And there's also a bunch of just MNS bags and various other things over there that has took me out of the moment, to be honest. Why, <laughs> why are they there? <laughs> I assume it's donations, but it's like, yeah, there's like spiritual things here. Yeah, it's just MNS food, Great Britain, made out of tomatoes on a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> really fitting. Where would the Ficker's dog be? Is there a building nearby where they like live? I don't know. I wasn't there. Or was I? Yeah. It's me, the dog. <laughs> I've come back <laughs> as a human. No. <laughs> right, so I think we'll just sit for a bit and uh, see what we pick up. I might try and openly talk to the spirits. Um, as a spiritualist myself, it's quite interesting to be here, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see if I can pick up anything. Hello, spirits of St. Nicholas Church. Almost had to pick up my phone to remember what the name is. Um, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I'm here with my friend Sydney, Desserts and Soul Han underscore do. Goes by many names. And uh, we're just making a video for Halloween week on my channels and we're just exploring Pluckley and I yeah, there's and I, I don't know if we saw that it was like a little particle like that went I don't know if it's one of those tiny little flies or if it's the sign oh. of a spirit did you not see it was it on the camera yeah it was, it was like here kind oh. of area sort of like a little particle the camera might pick that up I don't know if you want to give me, me any signs of your presence, and uh, please feel free. No worries if not. Saw a little part. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. I saw the particle go round. I saw a little thing there. I think there's someone quite near me. Um, hopefully you're friendly. Got a, a clear quartz here as well. That gives me a direct link to my own spirit. So I am able to call in if you're making me uncomfortable or anything, but so far it's, it's going all right. I'm assuming the particles that I've been seeing in are you, because I'm not seeing any, you know, I feel like there'd be a few more particles around if it was like dust off the church, so I'm quite aware that there's definitely something here at least. Yes, yeah, so I invite you to interact with me, give me a little tap or anything, feel free. If not, that's perfectly fine. I feel that. The way I can only describe it is, you know like when your blood, you feel your blood around your body and like, if you like read bad news or something, and you feel the blood in your body, mm. like you can, you get like all this like adrenaline or, not adrenaline, but like, you can feel like the blood in your body. Yeah. Kind of like a shiver of like, in your body, about your body. I felt that, but it's more cold, not hot. Oh. So I feel like that might be spirit, or it might, it could be me being nervous subconsciously, but I feel like it was a spirit, so... Interesting. It almost looked like I could see my own breath, but I wasn't really quite breathing. But again, with the glasses, it's hard to tell if it was breath or not. But I'm just looking out for any signs of anything, you know? Is there someone in front of me at the moment? Because I'm seeing, like, similar breath particles, but it's a kind of out of sync of me breathing, so I don't know if it's someone else breathing near me or just a sign of someone here. But if there is someone here, hello. Feel free to give my hand a little tap if you want. I welcome it. Maybe don't do it yourself, sit my, you know. Okay, hello. Not my hand, but I saw like a similar breath particle, but it's like up here now. So. I don't think my breath's going up that high, is it? Wearing glasses for this stuff is very... It does not help me. <laughs> it's giving me mixed messages. The combination of modern and old in here. Mm. It's like... Contactless thing. Pl plugs in like a wooded church from like the 1400s or something. Right. 
That weirds it. Well, we'll start to wrap up, but thanks for coming close. I'm pretty sure you were at least here, whoever that was. If anyone wants to follow me, then I'd prefer if you didn't. I want to focus on other areas and pluck play, so if any of my guys want to help up the spirits that are around here step away as I proceed of the day, then I'd appreciate it. So, next on the list is the Black Horse. Technically called the Black Horse Inn, but it doesn't say it on the front of the shop. And um, this is also listed on the London Walking Tours here in Pluckley, the website linked in the description. And um, some ghostly activity has happened here, such as, and not limited to, an unseen hand that lifted cutlery from the dresser and arranged it neatly on the side. So whatever spirits are in here, useful you know you don't even have to pay them either yeah we're gonna have a little look in the black horse see if there's any spiritual stories or interactions and also an interaction with me in the toilet let's go in so we've got a, an apple and orange juice here uh, had a lovely talk with the bartender about some spooky experiences and um yeah, apparently the chair over there, if you want to pan around said, no, even though you just set the camera up. I could get a separate shot of the chair. Yeah, we'll get a separate shot. shot. Bah. Yeah, apparently that chair that you're looking at right now moved the other day. Yeah, so. It's not just cutlery they move here, it's uh, furniture as well. So uh, we're just getting the same meal that we, uh, me and Sydney have gotten. Halloumi chips with cheese, I think, or something. Halloumi is cheese. Halloumi is cheese, guys. You should know better. And then, uh, yeah, we'll explore the rest of the, the village area. And um, then we'll head towards the Screaming Woods and see if there's any spirits. <laughs> so we've got some um, chilli sauce here. I'm gonna try. So, we just finished in the Black Horse Inn, I think it's what it's called, I was just in there and I've already forgotten. Um, it is actually starting to rain, which isn't ideal for us in this present moment. But, what I will say is it really adds to the, the theme and the mise-en-scene of Halloween. I've got a waterproof coat, unlike JC. And I don't have a waterproof camera. There's also an elephant up there. Oh yeah, there's an elephant in this random person's balcony. Isn't that some... But yeah, we're on our way to um, the, the, the creaking woods, Sydney. The pale woods, the new Minecraft biome. Screaming woods, which is also known as Daring Woods mainly, but people call it the Screaming Woods. Yeah, nothing more spooky than rain, dark clouds, and wanting to get out of it because of the rain and not the spirits. Um, this road coming up on the right. Yeah. Uh, a man hung himself down there. It's interesting, isn't it, Sydney? Bit sad. Happened in the 1930s, I think. Oh. So it's fairly recent. Well. In the grand scheme of things. In the grand scheme of life and the planet, yeah, I guess it is kind of recent. One thing that you have to prepare for when you come to Pluckley, if you happen to do a similar walk to this, expect a lot of traffic. It does kind of ruin the atmosphere, but I guess cars got to get past somewhere. But um, yeah. Literally everywhere that we've gone, we've experienced some form of traffic, so bring your wits about you. There's a ghost here, Sid. It's a pony. Oh. Hello, how are you doing? I really don't think this is 
the best way to be, is it? No, just here with all these cars. No, it's very, quite very close to the road. Quite a busy road. I don't like how busy it is, and it's starting to pick up raining quite a bit. We're coming up to a corner here, Sidney. Okay, be careful. A scary corner. A car beep at us for no reason. Yeah, we've had a car beep at us. We had a car just now go by us quite fast. Like literally 20 centimetres to the left and, you know, he's running over my leg or my, f my foot. So, um, you got to be quite careful around these bits if you're, if you're doing this walk because uh, Traffic isn't very great here. Uh, Some yeah. quite aggressive drivers along here. And I feel like something big is coming, so we should stay still. You see what I mean? Like, that was way... If, if, if they don't see you, you're getting run over. Are you sure we should keep going? This way, on this way, on this end of the road? Yeah, we... we... I don't like how they only swerve when they see us. Yeah. Yeah, so please, if you're doing this by foot, be con be careful, because... This is the official route that the, 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 the website says. you just got to be aware of uh, traffic not being as considerate. We made it to the bridge. The bridge? Over there, over there, over there. Prinnick Bridge. Yeah. Where, where is the bridge? Are we on the bridge? We're on the bridge. We're on the bridge, apparently. It doesn't feel like it, Sid. No, I won't be honest. You know, it feels like it's just a bit of a continuation of a road. But uh, we are on a bridge. It does go over that little bit of river there. Apparently an old lady died on it once. Oh. That wall right there. Oh yeah, I think I read up on that. Someone... I remember hearing about that. Someone died there. F fell in, I think, so... There's some foaming water there, Sid. No? I wonder what that uh, is. That like a spring or something? Or uh, I imagine it just comes from the river or something. Although that is a garden right there, so some sort of leak. Can we can see what's going on in there? Hello, hello, King. Are you alright? Yeah, I can see a lot of foam is just over there. Uh, oh yeah, there's like a hose thing that you can kind of see right there. I think that's a hose. Yeah, something's going on there. I don't know. So, this is called Fright Corner and it's on the list. And it's called Fright Corner because a man that was uh, on the run from Law and Order, known in the modern times as the police, was uh, chased until this stop. And apparently there was an oak tree here until recently, so I assume it's been chopped down. Maybe it was here, I'm not sure. But um, this is where he met his end with a sword to the chest. Apparently his last seconds of living can be like seen repeated here sometimes in like early winter mornings. And uh, you could also sometimes see um, his dead corpse as well. I assume in a ghostly form, not like, oh, it's suddenly a physical corpse and it just like vanishes in the ground. I assume it's some sort of ghostly version of his corpse. So, um, yeah, this is what you can see here. Yeah, I don't really see it myself, but who knows? Post-editing JC. What do you see? Happy Halloween, Sydney. JC, why am I here? It's Halloween and we've got to go into Daring Woods and it looks a bit ominous. Well, we've got to go in here. It looks very ominous. Well, do you want to walk all the way back on that road, Sydney? No. With was... the rain picking up again. It was horrible, that road. It was horrible. So maybe we should go in here and experience something probably less horrible than those cars, to be honest. Uh, it is going to get dark. Oh, yeah. Makes it all the more exciting, said no? Yeah. So let's go into these daring woods and uh, see what we experience. Did you say that these are the most haunted woods in, in the Kent? Possibly. Or the country? Possibly! Yeah, this is daring... Oh my god! <laughs> that was... That was... Ah. I've just got a face full of water, Sydney. It's the... Oh, it's... Ghost. I think, you yeah, know, all the evil spirits there are, like, ejaculating on me. Uh-huh. So, Daring Woods, also known as the Screaming Woods. It is an eerie experience to walk these muddy paths through the skittle trees, especially when it is getting dark. 
and there's no sunshine up there, is there? I mean, there is, but it starts to lessen, so we're getting as close as we can. The journey is made even spookier by the knowledge that many lone wayfarers who have come this way have been scared witless by a sudden loud anguish scream. It comes from deep within the woods and sends the birds flapping from the trees. Did you know about that, Sidney? No? Uh-huh. You did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I sure did. I, I read the article. Um. <laughs> Sidney, we're here. We're going in. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I reenact the dirt bag? Uh, you know, the dirt bag goes ghost hunting. So I'll just reenact that here. Yeah, definitely. Come on out, evil spirits. I know you're here. My name is David Dirtbag. There's a bit of comfort knowing that we're by the road still at the moment. But I'm assuming at some point, Sydney, the path will go away from the road and we'll be actually in the middle of the woods. Yeah, I think so. And that's that's when, if we hear the scream, it'll be a bit more scary. But, uh, ah, it's raining. It is a bit rainy, isn't it? Uh, the car park's just over there. So, um, if you're a driver, which, to be honest, I actually recommend. You don't really want to be walking on those roads. So, if you're going to come here and you do drive, just just drive and park there. It's, it'll save you a lot of mental stress. There's no cars there, so that suggests that we are alone in these woods. Yeah, so if you see any shadowy figures, Sydney, it's not a person. Well, it is a person, but not an alive person. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we experience in these woods, the deeper and darker it gets. And uh, hopefully we'll conclude at the train station intact, Sydney. I hope so. That bar looks a lot nicer. It does look a bit nicer, but also we're still in the spiritual scary woods. Jesus, look at that puddle. How do we get through here? Um, yeah. yeah, oh, it's all wet. I don't like wet things. Could you? Can I just join you as you do it yourself? Go on the gate. There we are. Thank you. We've got a bit of a log to stand on. I just thought it. Okay. Oh. Shall I go first? And lead the way with the camera. Oh, I don't like how wet it is, Sydney. Go on, DC. Oh, I wouldn't recommend standing on that to me, but I'm doing it. Yeah. There you are. You've got to get a bit muddy at some point in your life. Are you just going to climb over the fence? Do you want to film me get over? You just, okay. I thought you were just going to climb over the fence and say, fuck it. Oh, oh. Did you know about that, Sidney? Um, I only noticed it after you were already crossing. Oh. That's good, isn't it? Alright, so... I'm going to do a little bit of what I kind of did in the church, where... I'm just going to talk openly. See what spirits are around, hopefully good ones. And, um see if we can kind of maybe get a, some sort of response ideally a nice response and not like a scream in the woods but yeah let's give this a i think i'll show a bird don't worry about it so um my name's jack and i'm a youtuber spirits and angels of the woods um just making a little video about pluckley and uh apparently it's quite haunted and that is a tent is that a tent? Is that a tent? Should we investigate the right mm. Oh no. People. <gasps> Do you actually, are there actual people? Well, I hear someone. Hello. JC, I think we should go. Okay. Yeah, I think there's people over there, Sid. I think there's just people camping or having, a, having some sort of time. I wouldn't worry too much, Sid. So, as I was saying, um, 
Hey, my name's Jack, I'm a YouTuber and I'm just making a uh, little YouTube video about Pluckley and how haunted it is and how muddy apparently these woods are, oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, this is quite muddy. Oh, boy. Your poor socks are, oh, that is, a, yeah, that is quite muddy. Will you be alright, Sid? No? Yeah, I'll be fine. Ugh. Right. Yeah, sorry about my... Oh! Yeah, so... Oh, no! At least film your feet, Sid. Let's <laughs> see that mess. Yeah, they were a bit soggy. Film yourself. Alright. Um, so, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I'm just making a video on Pluck Clean, how haunted it is. And, um, apparently these are known as the Screaming Woods. Um, I'm pretty friendly. Um, I'm open to some interactions if you want to give me any or like any sightings or anything as long as they're like friendly and not too scary and horrible um, I'd appreciate that um, I do have my guides with me as well so I will get them to step in if I'm uncomfortable at any point so just making that apparent. I've also got a clear quartz crystal on me so I can have a direct link with the spirits that I work with. What do you think about that tent thing earlier, Sidna? Uh, creepy. I, I definitely think it's just some people in a tent. I don't think. But there was the um, thing earlier about the um, like conversations could be heard in some woods, but I don't think this is these woods, so. Oh. I think those are just genuine people. Um, but yeah, my battery's running out, so hopefully we get out of here alive. Ooh. God, yes. If you're coming here in the autumn, expect a lot of mud. Jesus. Um, suddenly I'm trapped. Oh, it's just, ow, you son of a, ow, ow. I think a stinging nettle like caught my, my, my finger and that, it just stung a little bit. Oh no, or a bramble. Or a bramble. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, a mark there. Am I going to get like tetanus and die? I don't think so, are you bleeding? There's a mark. You should be fine. Okay. Going that way if you want, or you could backtrack and go the way that I went. I meet more brambles, I don't think so. Oh god. Sidna. Hey. Spiritual stuff aside, this is a horrible walk so far in terms of navigating. Oh my god, look how muddy my I only bought these last week, Sydney, or a week ago. Alright, I've made it to the other side. That was an experience, isn't it? Oh, we've got more mud, and look, it's starting to rain more. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome when you're living in a dream. Sugar. <laughs> Did you see me slide then? <laughs> <laughs> this is a massive shape. slide. Yeah, I, just, I wanted to get away from all that mud, so I was like, I'm running. But then there was more mud, said. <laughs> Like that, but without the scream. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think half the screaming in this woods are just me. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> you've been here more than once, Sydney, and people have just recorded your screams and called it the scream woods. Oh, is that what's happening? Maybe. You do like to scream, Sydney, when you see a mushroom on the floor. Oh, mushrooms are terrifying. Do you know what's also terrifying? Like that car looks a bit ominous. It does. Right. It looks a bit. I'm not going to say scary, because I'm a bloke and I don't get scared, but no. if I was going to be murdered, it'd probably be here. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Sydney, we're not making this up. Could be a coincidence, but we just heard a steam train in the middle of these woods. Um, I know there's the train line not too far away, but is there, there's, I don't know if there's steam trains on there, maybe. I feel like there is. Why would, a, why would we hear a train in the woods? What connection does it have with this woods? Maybe it was just a steam train on the Maybe. Like, special edition. But it's worth pointing out, you know, we heard a steam train in the woods, so. 
there's also the most terrifying thing. I've oh spotted. god, yeah, there's like a, a a hunch like curved around log that looked like someone hiding behind a log and Sydney got scared. That was terrifying, but there's something even more terrifying. Down there. Look at that log. Oh. Stop. Oh, it's just a few mushrooms. Yeah. You can go have a closer look. I'll stay here and go nowhere near it. Right. You can always watch back the video if you want to see what they look like. Yeah, be careful, do you see? Yeah, there's a few mushrooms there. Interesting. It's crazy how life just exists in these domains. Alright, we're going this way, Sidney. These woods have been the scariest part of the whole day. Really? Were you more scared in the church? Not scared, but I, I I agree that it's scary, but in terms of spiritual experiences, not really. Everything just looks like something through the trees. It's probably because your mind's expecting something because of the history around it, so you're a bit more on edge and kind of make up scenarios, and you're not sure if it is a made-up scenario or real. Oh. Yeah. It's a mixture of your mind playing tricks on you, probably, with like the context that this is haunted. Or maybe it's an actual thing and you should start running away now. Right, so we see these sheep in these fields and that concludes the um, the wooded part of the walk. Um, yeah, apart from like being on edge a little bit and the mud, it's like... It's not been particularly spooky on this occasion. Uh, the most notorious thing was probably the sting train that we heard, which is probably just a sting train to be honest. But um, I definitely felt sp spiritual uh, interactions and connections in the church more than anything. So it's just That's not an interesting sign. You might want to agree that. No, not the Ghostbusters. This is despite some questionable websites and social media groups claiming otherwise. Um, there are no ghosts in Durling Woods. If you hear a wailing. In the woods, it's not a slimmer, but likely to be one of the resident foxes. Woodland traps. Well, I don't know who's a believe now, Sydney. Do I believe the history of these woods or that sign? Mm. I feel like it's probably there is some you know, if you believe in spirits and stuff. I don't know about that for my... It's the way with most of these things. Stories, tourism. Maybe. Um, I definitely felt something in the church though yeah just not here um so it's kind of up to what anyone believes if you believe these are uh, haunted woods or not um you have a right to and if you don't believe that these are haunted woods you have a right to um just because i didn't experience much on this particular occasion i'm you know i'm open to coming back here and seeing if it's different next time but uh, yeah, misinformation can definitely spread around, but... That's not to say Pluckley isn't still the most haunted place regardless, isn't it? Ooh. You right there, Sid? No. Yeah, we're on this like weird public footpath and we've got to go underneath this tree and there's like a massive ditch there. So um, it's not looking great for us, to be honest. Oh my goodness, Wilson. Okay. Your phone doesn't fall on the bottom. That's probably the least of that worries, yeah. Maybe pass the phone to me. Oh, yeah, film it, Sydney. Oh. Do I go over or under? Uh, up to you. Probably under, Sydney. It's very difficult to go under. Or I can go under, Sydney. You sure? Careful. Yeah, I'm not that strong. <laughs> That's the whole fallen tree. <laughs> that ain't me, Chief. I ain't that guy, Sydney. <laughs> this is awful. I'm alright, like my bag's a bit stuck. Ugh. Yeah, ma'am, if you're doing this, please consider all this, you know, as a warning. Especially if you're coming here on the wing day, which it is today, which you're watching this video and sort of coming here yourself, so I don't even need to warn that particular group of people, but. If you do come here, be careful. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Jason. We're out of the woods now, and I'm on my phone because my battery died. Look at the lovely light on that house. Oh, yeah. The sun's setting, Sydney, and we are no longer in the creepy woods. <laughs> How do you feel, Sydney? You feel energized, ready for any challenge? 
that was muddy as pit. The public right of way that we had to take to get out of the woods was incredibly overgrown. Yeah, it was a bit overgrown, there was like a tree and like a scary pond thing like dip and we could have died. But look at that, quite nice isn't it? Yeah. That is so lovely. Do I go back in the woods now? It's getting dark and see if we experience anything different. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I'll shoot our train, JC. Oh. Was that our train? Or was that shooting? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, thanks for joining, Sydney. <sighs> Missed it, Sydney. I guess we'll wait until the next one. Which is in like two minutes. Yeah. So that was Pluckley, Sydney. It was. And Halloween season, the 2nd of October. Or the 31st for you. Yeah. What did you think, Sydney? I think this bathtub looks amazing. What's your opinion on the spirits of Pluckley? Oh, it was a nice day out. We had a... We had a... We had a cool time. Um, the woods were stressful though, and I'm very muddy, and I had holes in my shoes, and um, my socks are very muddy and wet, and I just want to get home and relax. I think I had the spiritual connection in the church. I saw like an orb thing, and I felt my body temperature change. And I think that was something. But the woods, dare I say, a little bit anticlimactic, a little bit. They're still cool. I'm not expecting a dance show from the spirits that are there. Can you give me an impression of a spirit dance show? Um, if that was a spirit, Sydney, in whatever the woods are called, I've already forgotten the name of them. Daring Woods. In Daring Woods. I'd be like this. Like that. I'd put on a show, Sydney, if it was me. Oh, cool. Yeah, this, I hit a bit different. So, uh. It hits different. So thank you very much for watching this uh, Pluckley vlog. I, will, I do want to do like more videos like this in the future, like exploring, like kind of un unplanned, like what are we going to experience kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in no November because I'm definitely going to upload on this channel in November. Yeah. <laughs>